Hi there, welcome back to Food with Lynn. In this uh, video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disassemble uh, a couple of pineapples here. And I'm going to show you three different ways, uh, some of the most popular, and then also one of the easiest. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the crown off of this one, right here. Put that away. And I'm going to show you two different ways to cut this one. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and half it. And then using the halves, let me go ahead and get the bottom off too. So I got a stable platform. I'm going to do that on this one as well. Now, the first way is first method is going to be the easiest and probably considered the most wasteful. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut kind of deep on there. We're not going to uh, save those. The, we're going to remove the eyes right there as well. So what you end up with is a pretty clean representation that you're ready to slice. Let's get all the little eye things out. And that cuts a lot of the pineapple off. And then from there, you can just go down quarter your pineapple and cut out the core. Because the core is tough, nobody likes eating the core. Uh, I mean, some people might be able to handle it, <laughs> but for the most part, no. And it does get a little slick. So. There you go. And with that done, you would clean up your workspace and then just go ahead and cut into your slices however you normally would like to slice it. Now the other way, which is uh, also, it's a little fancier. And what some people will do is they'll just go right along the skin and fillet it like a fish and you can see the little eyes are showing up in there and now your pineapple has uh, pretty much symmetrical lines up and down the side of it so that when you do this you will be able to see where those eyes exist I guess they call them eyes. I think that's what they call them. But basically you're just going to get most of your skin off of there and then you'll see these eyes. And what you do on these eyes is you just cut wedges removing the pineapple eye. So I'm trying to make this video not take forever because it shouldn't be a real long video. And there we go. So you look for where your eyes are pretty much in line. Because you'll see in one direction they're in line, the other direction. They're also in line, but not as clearly defined on the lines. So then you just want to go through, cut out the eyes in a spiral-like manner. So after a few minutes you're going to end up with something that kind of resembles this right here. Less waste, so you end up with a spiral. Something like this. This is a method that takes a lot longer and does save you a little bit of the pineapple. Pineapple does look a little better provided you get all of those uh, skin and eyes off of it. But that's, uh, that's one way. Two ways. So this is, this is what you get doing both of these. 
This I've got a couple of eyes on, so I would just cut those out. And I will go ahead and cut those up. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dehydrate this for uh, snacks later. Okay, and we have one other method, which I'm going to show you right now. And that is pretty much cheating the easiest way possible. All right, and what this does is it allows you to keep the, uh, the actual pineapple husk and use that as a glass for a refreshment. This is a pineapple core right here. So I'm going to carefully place that over the core and then I'm going to just start turning and cutting this. Pressing down and the end result is going to be like a can of pineapple. <laughs> You're going to have perfectly formed pineapple rings which once you cut through those I should have uh, kind of taken a measurement as to how far my bottom is but I think what we're going to do is we're going to meet some resistance here and then we're just going to pull this out like you would a can of pineapple. I'm a little short so I can uh, I can take this off and keep digging but normally you just dig all the way through, get that done in one shot. And then you just run your knife through that and you will have what appears to be a canned pineapple. So if you come up short, just go back in, twist again. My uh, game plan is to try and not go through the bottom of this pineapple so that I can use it for a refreshing tropical drink glass. But there you have it. Three ways to deal with a pineapple. And for this one here, all you have to do to separate these rings is just one whack through there like so and you have pineapple just like you would have in a can and as I mentioned before I'm going to cut these up put them in the dehydrator and use them for snacks later and you can remove the core generally just take a knife and use this as a Class for your uh, for your refreshment, pina colada, whatever it is. I mean, if you really want to get fancy with it, you can serve it up like that. Pull that off, and you got a drink glass in there, and it is holding liquid. And uh, anyway, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you very much.